This screencast demonstrates how to input data and run a simulation in Aspen Plus software. This video will utilize the flow sheet developed in the Building a Flow Sheet screencast. When a new simulation is created, the screen defaults to the Properties tab. Here, relevant simulation information can be entered into the system. To begin, click the Components folder. For this simulation, specify that water, methane, ethane, and propane are the process chemicals. Enter these individually into the component ID box, pressing enter after each chemical. Aspen Plus does not recognize component IDs greater than 8 characters long. You can search for a chemical by clicking on the find box and typing in part or all of the name and pressing find now. A list of relevant chemicals will appear below. Select the appropriate chemical and click add selected components. After all the process components are entered, click on the methods folder and select an appropriate property method. Watch the related video on choosing a property method for a more detailed explanation. Next, click on the green arrow at the top of the screen. You will be directed to a summary table of interaction effects. Click the green arrow again to prompt a dialog box asking if you want to run the property analysis. Click OK and Aspen will do so. After the results are generated, click the green arrow at the top of the screen to open the dialog box again. This time, select Go to Simulation Environment at the bottom of the dialog box and click OK. On the menu tree at the left of the screen, notice that some folders have blue check marks on them and some have red circles. Blue check marks indicate sufficient information is inputted. Red circles indicate a lack of necessary process information. You can click on the arrow next to a folder to expand the menu tree. This allows you to see more specifically the information that needs to be entered. Alternatively, you can click the green arrow at the top of the screen to be brought to the data input screens. Notice the name of the input screen on both the tab at the top of the input box as well as on the menu tree. For the cold inlet stream, suppose cooling water enters at 20 degrees Celsius and one bar with a mass flow rate of 500 kilograms per hour. To enter the flow rate, change the total flow basis and input the flow rate in the appropriate box. In the composition box, change the left box to mass flow and specify that all 500 kilograms per hour is water. Alternatively, you can select either mass or mole frac and specify water as one. Click the green next arrow to go to the hot inlet stream. Suppose the stream enters at 200 degrees Celsius and one bar with a mass flow rate of 1,000 kilograms per hour. In the composition box, change the left box to mass frac and specify the stream as 50 weight percent methane, 30 weight percent ethane, and 20 weight percent propane. Notice how the values are added in the bottom box to ensure no mistakes are made. Click the green next arrow to go to the Heat Exchanger tab. For this screencast, specify the type as design and under the Exchanger Specification tab, choose Hot Stream Outlet Temperature from the drop-down menu. Enter 100 degrees Celsius in the value box. Watch the related video on the shortcut Heat Exchanger method to learn more about this simulator block. Pressing the green next arrow again will open a dialog box asking if you want to run the simulation. Click OK to have Aspen begin calculations. When Aspen has found a solution, a dialog box will appear, indicating the simulation converged. Click Close to view the results. Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist to learn about convergence and presentation of results. For more Aspen Plus tutorials, visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.